Hey dude, thanks for calling me back. Actually, if possible, I would rather have it delivered to my work. As well as the credit for our downfall. And he's moving the ball fairly well. Alright guys, what's up everyone? So, I just got here to the house. I'm here at home right now on my lunch break again. But now I'm here ready and I'm ready to talk to you. And I want to talk to you about something right now. So what happened is that yesterday I actually uploaded a video. A video where I talk about what I made at my first developer job, my salary. And I talk about that in video. If you haven't seen it yet, I'll put it in the link description below. But in that video, what happened is that this morning, Morning. Someone actually left a comment. So apparently there is this CS grad, she's in school right now getting her bachelor's with a computer science degree and this is what she said and it shocked me, I, I mean really shocked because I know that there are CS graduates out there that really look down on the self-taught developers. Hold on, that light's not on. Okay Google, turn on the lamp 100%. One second. Boom, okay. And so, this is what she said. She said this. LOL, I'm working on my bachelor's degree and these lazy are trying to land developing jobs after one measly year. Good for you going in with a fourth of the knowledge. Um, first of all, she spelled fourth wrong. And she saw, uh, it's really interesting. She's hating on self-taught devs like you and me, yet she can't even spell fourth correctly. I can't pronounce it but she can't spell, I don't know which one's worse. And so within that comment, I respond, right? And I said, you honestly must not know the industry you're trying to get into because most of the devs you will work with will be self-taught. So if I were you, I change that mindset. say good luck. And so I did not attack her at all. I did not attack her whatsoever, whatever at all, right? And then she says this to me. She says, LOL, the job's near me that I'm going to be going for a required degree. I do know, and the most of us can't afford school is bull, she cursed again, I don't know why. Um, a few months of research isn't work and you're not going to change my mind. Impressive that you are making this much money with essentially no education though, lol. And this breaks my heart because she's saying a few months of research, right? isn't necessarily work. But as developers, what is it that we do every day at our jobs? We literally research all day. Dang, man, like my mind's blown right now. And so that's why I'm going here at home on my lunch break to talk to you about this. She posts again right after that. She says, and I promise you, I'm not the slightest bit jealous of some uneducated losers. I don't know why she has to say that. First of all, a lot of developers are uneducated. A lot of people did not even graduate college. And you know what, just before we continue, I'm gonna show you some clips of well-known, world-renowned developers or CEOs that tell you how important a degree is in the first place. There's no need even to have a college degree at all, or even high school. If somebody graduated from a great university, that may be an, indi that may be an indication that they will be capable of great things, but it's not necessarily the case. Bill Gates, Larry Ellison, Steve Jobs, these guys didn't graduate from college. But if you had a chance to hire them, of course, that would be a good idea. <laughs> so, you know, just looking just for evidence of exceptional ability. Um, and if there's a track record of exceptional achievement, then it's likely that that will continue into the future. A students work for the B students. The C students run the businesses and the D students dedicate the buildings. There's, there's a point of diminishing returns in terms of what it's worth for a college education and how much debt you're willing to saddle yourself. Anyway, so let's go ahead and continue. I responded to her like this. I, says, I said, you do know that most of the top companies out there don't even require a degree to work there in the first place, right? And then she responds with this. I've done a lot of research as to where I'm going after school and you're very wrong. Let me show you a quick, very quick Google research of how wrong she is. For example, okay, I have these links right here. On ilovecoding.com, it says this. It says, according to Stack Overflow 2015 survey, 48% of respondents never received a degree in computer science. According to the Stack Overflow 2016 survey, 69% of all developers are what? Self-taught. Let's go to another one. Let's just go to another one. Okay, so from Quartz, the website Quartz said this, just from the headline alone. Two out of three developers are self-taught and other trends from a survey of 56,033 coders. So out of 56,000 coders who were surveyed, two out of every three developers are what? Self-taught, AKA no degree. The next web.com, they said this, over 65% of new developers are self-taught. I'm surprised it's not 100%. 
Uh, one more, just one more, man. Okay, there's a lot of places I can go. Because let's go to a website that's well known. Washington Post says this. Well, the Washington Post says, lots of coders are self-taught according to a developer survey. What more proof do you need to know that majority of developers out there don't have a degree? A lot of developers who don't have a degree actually work for a big company. And so the fact this person is saying what she's saying, it, it, it breaks my heart because I personally have encountered developers who treat self-taught developers like me this way. And it has it brought my confidence so, so down to the point when I remember I wanted to quit coding because this person put me down so much and tried to put their stuff over me so much that I felt like maybe coding isn't meant for me. Now, I know people will say, Chris, do not make this video for her. Don't give it her attention. I'm not making this to give her attention. I'm making this video because again, what kind of channel is this? It's like encouraging motivational channel. And I want you to know that don't let people like this put you down and understand that in this industry, in this niche, we're blowing up. Self-taught developers are getting hired everywhere. There's, you know, I, I'm actually being mentored by someone who is a senior web developer at Amazon right now as we speak. And actually, um, so what happened, he contacted me and he told, he's giving me a list of books that I should read to help me be a really good, well-rounded developer because I don't think I'm good yet. I want to get way better. I feel like I suck more than ever right, at coding. And so he gave me this, he, well, I bought it and he told me to get this book. I'll put the link in the description below if anyone's interested. It might be a little outdated, I don't know, um, but I, I'm going to read. The thing about self-taught developer is that a degree is not where we stop learning. Right, this Amazon senior web developer got a CS degree. But again, he had to teach himself what he knew in regards to PHP and JavaScript and everything outside of school. And so for self-taught developer, we never stop learning. We don't stop at a degree. We learn after we get our first job. You should be learning after you even get your first job or second job. We're always learning. Why? Because that's what it takes to succeed. Hard work, not just a couple months of research. So anyways, man, um, I hope this video encourages you guys. I gotta go to work. Oh my gosh, it's 12.57. I need to be back in three minutes. So I need to head out from my house right now. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys later. This is Krishan. This is a life of developer. And I'm out. Peace.